What happened? It's not broken. It was taking too long. So it's on? Mm-hmm. So, what is this? What do we say? I don't know. All right. We're, we just saw Suicide Squad, yeah. and this is how we, how we thought of it. Amanda, what were your thoughts on Suicide Squad as a whole? It was alright. It was alright. Okay. It's alright. I'm among the same, I think. It was alright. It wasn't it wasn't terrible, but it was a fun movie. It was I fun. think. It was a very fun movie. Yeah. So if you want a fun movie, you definitely go see Suicide Squad. What did you like most about the movie? Let's start with good. I'm sorry that I'm slamming my hand on the table. It's probably really loud. I apologize. What was your favorite part of the movie? The Joker. That was not. That's not <laughs> true. We'll get to that. That's not true. What was your favorite part of the movie? Um, <laughs> you bubble. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, Deadshot was pretty good. I liked his um, humor. Yeah. But uh, I will probably be the only one who says this. I really liked Enchantress. I liked her too. No, I thought no she was one, awesome. Yeah, I don't. I keep reading it. No one really People don't like her. No, she was a bad villain. I just, I just like her because she's pretty. I thought uh, I thought she was awesome. I don't think she was a terrible villain. She kind of did what villains do. When, I'm gonna make a big thing and blow up everything or do whatever, and she kind of almost did. Like just how many people she killed, like an entire city. I don't know. I think she was a good villain. Better than um fucking Ronin from Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardi- I loved Guardians of the Galaxy, but Ronin was like a butthole and was useless. He he had no part in that movie, I don't think. But that's a different movie. So, um, alright, okay. So Enchantress was like your top favorite. Enchantress and Deadshot? Yeah. I think, yeah. I, I liked Enchantress, but not that much. I liked Deadshot because he was an asshole, mm-hmm. but still pretty smart. But not like too smart. He's, like, exactly the way I think he is in the comic books, like, the, yeah. way, the way Floyd is. Where, like, he is clever, he's smart, he knows what he's doing. He was a little bit less militaristic than he is in the comic books, but it they worked with that. I think that, that worked well, when he, that he was just like, fuck you guys, I don't give a shit. Um, I really liked him, I thought he was awesome. They did his the father-daughter thing really well. Yeah. Um, I thought that, like, that felt genuine, that yeah. felt like, ooh, ah, you know what I mean? Like, I get it, I get it, man. Um... Fucking loved Killer Croc. I loved Croc just because I love Killer Croc from all the comic books, and you can't really fuck him up that bad. Except near right. the near the end, they started to just turn him into a, like a well, racial stereotype. That was like, the, that was the thing. Like was, I think I don't know where they reshot the movie at, like what parts. But everyone that I hear from is like, "Wow, like the first part of the movie was great, and then the last twenty minutes were not." That's what I keep yeah, hearing. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I could kind of see that. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess because of all the all the violence and the death, you know, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, you know, I don't care if the movie's good, if I'm having a good time. And that's kind of what it is. Like, I guess that's what separates it being a really good movie from it just being a fun movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah, the pacing felt a little strange. Yeah, the no, story... Man. It wasn't... It also wasn't good that they went to go fucking... Something felt off. They... they the whole time, they were like, we gotta pick somebody out of the building. And it was her. And it was like, wow, good one, guys. Like, instead of maybe dropping something for a next movie and making the... Well, they like, didn't... You didn't need to make that Waller. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I... I thought I, that I was just, mind. like... I didn't mind. I thought it was like, whoa, okay. Like, uh, <laughs> that it was her. Um... Yeah, I genuinely but didn't like, expect it, but I don't. They they definitely did not set up another movie. Um, there was end credit things that wasn't setting up. No, that was setting yeah, up Justice yeah, League. Yeah, Justice which, League. But um, but all right, all right, all right. So favorite parts of the movie: Enchantress because yeah. she was really really pretty. Yeah, she looks fucking cool. She looks really good. It looks mm-hmm. awesome, and her powers are horrifying, <laughs> and awful, and like fuck that. I don't um, like that that she was still, you know. That she the should girl have died. Lived. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, she that, definitely should have died. That didn't make so, sense. oh, the spoilers. We'll say spoilers in the beginning. Yeah. yeah, the girl lives when he when he and he's like, I thought I killed you. She's like, I thought I killed you. And it's like you should have killed her, like, because that was like the point. It's yeah. like, hey, you need to kill me. If they it should happens. have been attached, like. 
you know? Yeah. It didn't make sense. To show just how awful Enchantress is. And I don't, I don't know anything about her actual character, but I know, the, like, that is how it happens. The, you know, she goes into that temple or whatever, and, it, it, you know, but I don't know anything about her character. If she dies, the, is she supposed to really die? Uh, comic book, probably not. They probably are able <clears throat> to save the person. That's usually, I don't know. But, um, I agree with that, definitely. Also, Boomerang was fucking great. It was pretty great. Boomerang <laughs> was exactly what I expected. I know a lot of characters weren't exactly what everyone expected, you know? Uh, you know, the little differences. But Boomerang was fucking perfect. He was not exactly out of the comic books, but perfect in what they've done with him. Just a drunken asshole. That was it. That was Boomerang's character from beginning to end. He didn't give a fuck I think he still didn't give a fuck by the end of the movie. There were parts where he was like, I kind of give a fuck. But, like, not really. And, like, right after that, he was like, I don't give a fuck again. And it was pretty great. I think he was fantastic. The whole reason that he joins them in the end is great. Like, they all, they, you know, their, spoiler alert, their stupid, you know, nano chip controller gets, he, he smashes it. He's like, you guys are free. Go do whatever you want. And all of them leave. And he immediately leaves. He leaves immediately. And then when they're all walking, like doing the the badass walk to go fight the main the main bad guy, uh, he just comes back and he's like, <laughs> like I had nothing better to do, kind of, or like fuck it, I'm gonna go with you guys because this shit, you know, just whatever. Which I thought was perfect. He didn't say anything. He didn't need to say anything because you just get it. And that he had a unicorn. He has a stuffed unicorn with him constantly because it's his fetish. It was great. It was a great scumbag. It was wonderful. So I thought he was great. Um, and I thought Harley Quinn was pretty good. Yeah. I liked her. Yeah. I did. I enjoyed her. Yeah, I thought she was pretty good. Um, I like I like that they added her old her old school yeah. outfit in there, like as a flashback scene, and she pulls it out of the thing, but chooses you know just to wear a t shirt and whatever the booty shorts or whatever she's wearing. But um, I really liked her. I thought that she was pretty 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 true to form. She, she only had like two. She only said like two jokes or whatever that just kind of were like what's the word not. Not good. Not funny. Forced. Yeah. Yeah. Just the elevator thing when she walks off the elevator and it's like, what's everyone looking at? <laughs> and it's yeah. like, all right, we get it. You know what I mean? She's cool. Like, we already got that, though. Like, I don't think they really need yeah. to do that. It kind of shoves it in your face. But still, she is cool. Like, she yeah. she is cool. Apologize if I'm sniffling and stuff. I'm kind of get, getting over a sickness. But, um, so, yeah. So, Deadshot was really good. Croc was really good. Uh... Fucking boomerang was wonderful. Harley Quinn was good. She was she was a good Harley Quinn. She you know she was decent. Kind of had all and the attributes. She still had her kind of accent, which a lot of people yeah. thought wasn't going to be there, and it, yeah. it was it was there. It was there. Her, what is that? Brooklyn, like Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was good. Um, and she yeah she was flirty and she was like vicious and yeah. violent as hell and like yeah it was it was fun. Um, also, the Japanese, the the Japanese I don't know who samurai she is at chick, all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know her. katana. I don't know her either, but she was cool. I like one. I want to know, know more. more. Yeah, like I want to see another movie with her in it because they they dropped a bunch of shit. But like, her husband. Yeah, just, she's got crazy backstory. She's got a sword that traps your soul inside of it, and it's like, damn, like fuck yeah, I want to see more of that shit. It's fucking awesome. Um, you got to think though, if she's got a sword that traps. All, everyone she kills with it in there. So her husband's in there, right? Yeah. Spoiler, her husband's in there. She, she took the sword from whatever. <laughs> but so she's killing all the guys to get revenge and killing them with that sword. Yeah. So if you think, her husband's kind of sitting in there in the, yeah. the sword room, wherever that's at. Well, you don't know and, what it's like in there. Right. They could so, just be wispy little things, like everyone's gone to rapture. Right, maybe. But I'm thinking, we're, like, I'm sitting on a couch, I'm in the sword room, right? You know? Yeah. You killed me. There's a couch in the sword room. Yeah, you killed me. And I hate you. And then you get killed by her sword, and then yeah. you land, you just, you're in there. So, like, he's, he's, she's yeah. kind of trapping him with all of his worst enemies forever, which is kind of fucked up, I think. I think that sucks. But that's that's poking holes in the in the logic and and being overly, uh... uh well, yeah, I'm but overthinking it, but... You really are, because I doubt there's a couch in that sword room, and I right. doubt that they're all in the same room. Like, well, you're it's just not like a, ridiculous. you know, a room... You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that, though. <laughs> you don't know So either. I could be right. But I could be right. I'm not saying you aren't. But I'm not saying you aren't. No, you are saying that I'm not. I'm just you saying there's not a couch this? there. You want to turn off this camera and fight about this? I will scream at the top of my lungs like a child. It's 11 o'clock. 
I will scream like a little girl. I will pee all over my pants, and then we'll see who looks ridiculous. Let's okay, get back on. Let's get. Let's get back on topic. <laughs> okay. All right. So we like the different parts, right? Pretty, pretty good. What was your least favorite part of the movie? No one died. Not a That's single not person Diablo died. died. <laughs> All right. Listen, like, how many people in the Suicide Squad are replaced? How many people die on the uh, Suicide Squad? So, in the... <laughs> Nobody died. Yeah, they were all friends. Ass. They all lived happily yeah. ever after. Nobody died. Yeah. Like, you know, the Joker. But nobody died. It wasn't the Suicide Squad. It was just, let's Joker get all... Let's, no, I'm... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's get all the bad guys together, you know? Because we don't care if they die, and because... Well, <laughs> hey... I don't care about Slipknot. I don't died. care about that guy. <laughs> he didn't have a single speaking line. I've never heard of that character. <laughs> he was the they man. Made him for the, the movie, man that could so climb anything. So they didn't anything. have to kill any of the other characters. The man that could climb anything. <laughs> they made him for the movie. I doubt he's even in a, a in one of the Suicide Squad comic books. Um, the first one they cap. Uh, what was his name? This what? What's his name? Slipknot, the man <laughs> that can climb anything. Okay. Incredible. Incredible character. Right, okay. You get really deep backstory with him. I want to know it's if he's awesome. real. You get to know everything about him. Um, oh, you're just going to get Slipknot the band. <laughs> yeah. <like> sli- <laughs> Slipknot DC character. <laughs> Slipknot was in the DC comics as Slipknot. Um, but yeah, so is he in it? Yeah, he is. <laughs> so he's pointless. He dies. They blow him up. I think that's just to show you that the bombs are real. Yeah. Just like in... Um, but they did it There's a once. movie of the Suicide Squad, a cartoon movie. That's what I'm that's saying. That's awesome. <laughs> and that's called Assault on Arkham. And Assault on Arkham, look it up, it's fucking so much fun, it's a really great movie, and in that, yeah, a couple of them die, straight up, because, whoops, you know what I mean, like, we don't care about you, and that's how it goes, uh, um, one of the guys dies right away because he doesn't believe them, so he walks out of the thing and his head explodes, you know what I mean, so, you know, that, that one's awesome, um, we can talk about that later, but that's a fucking great movie, definitely should watch it, Killer Frost is in it, it's awesome, (laughs) King Shark, so, um, so least favorite part of the movie is that no one died. I fucking agree. It didn't feel. It's not a Suicide Squad movie. It was yeah a superhero movie, but with also bad the, guys. The monsters that were dying, it, they were kind of unsatisfying kills. Yeah. So like, it so was weird. it was still fun. It was still yeah. fun to watch. It was still really fun. The action's really cool and everything. But like, I would have liked to see more blood and guts in my supervillain movie. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. in my Suicide Squad, they weren't movie. people. Like, I'd like they weren't yeah. killing people. They and weren't. The, they were barely even killing living creatures. They yeah. were like charcoal that runs around and slaps you a lot, you know. And so it was, yeah. I liked it, the the concept of like zombie ish sort of things, mm-hmm. but maybe just make them people with like black eyes or something. I don't know. Then you could see like heads getting really decapitated. You couldn't kind of couldn't tell what parts were flying yeah. off. Whereas if it was blood and arms, it'd be like okay, cool. You know, Killer Croc being able to rip someone's throat out or rip his fucking heart out. Then it's like yeah, okay, yeah. Deadshot capping people in the actual head and, you know. Sorry, but, um... Did you... You liked the combat? Yeah, that it was fun. I didn't... It felt like something was wrong with it. Uh, like, it was hard to see what was going on? A little bit. That's because it was a... Because you had a dark movie... Yeah. With... At night, with monsters that were entirely black... Yeah. And not at all... And almost just... amorphous Like, it was hard to really tell... They were humanoid, but... Like, it was hard, because they were so, like, ah, It like, almost felt like there wasn't combat at all in the movie, to me. When, like, thinking back to it, like, I don't know if I blanked. Like, it just, it... Well, the, the only thing the I can remember is scene, Deadshot like, the on top of the police car. The car. That's the only thing that I can really remember. And then, um, what's his face? Uh, with the fire. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's Diablo. it. That's it. That's all I remember from, like, any of the combat. Huh. It I, just didn't stick. Uh... Yeah, I guess I could see that. I don't know. I, I I liked it. I had fun. I wish, like I said, I just wish that they were like more humanish or monsterish yeah. or not just chalk that you <laughs> punch in half. You know, eyeball goo. Yeah, crusty gooey <laughs> stuff. Like it was like eh, it's kind of boring, but um, but still cool. Still cool. I don't know. I I really liked the scene with Deadshot on the car. Yeah, just like it's like good. He's a fucking monster. Like, 
What like one man arsenal? I think is what they called him in his like <laughs> drop down list. And uh, <laughs> it was very long because <laughs> it was Ill- illegal, uh, illegal weapon possession. I think, and he had like every weapon known to me, <laughs> like every kind of firearm ever. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, the what's your worst? Worst, you know. So my my <laughs> least favorite part of the movie. What was so your least part? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of problems with this movie, and there's like. A lot of things that make this a bad movie, yep. you know. Well, you know, a lot of things that take away from the fact that it could have been a good movie. One of them is that they took someone who is, I think, one of the he's the most one of the most popular iconic. villains of all time, one of the most iconic villains of all time, and the, the Joker. And they took the Joker, and they turned him into a man. That Was now he a man? normally the Joker is you know intimidating and scary and shit and that's the point right so this Joker I'm five foot three and I'm not that big of a guy you know physically uh, he reminds me of a man that would be my prison bitch in prison like I would I would own the Joker's butt in prison this Joker what's his name Jared Leto Jared Leto Jared Leto would be my prison bitch no doubt. He was like a wet noodle, kind of. There was no point to him. No, and he, he didn't, didn't do anything. He didn't, he didn't belong, belong in the movie, no. and I think that was that was a big problem. So, like, besides the fact that he looks like a fucking bitch the whole time, like he's not intimidating or scary. I'm covered in tattoos and I'm missing all my teeth, and it's like, wow, looks like you just got your ass kicked a lot. Like, <laughs> I'm just not, you know, I'm not intimidated by it. But the the fact that he was so shoehorned in. And it's like, you really going to fucking do that to one of your biggest fucking villains? Like, I get it. You got Harley Quinn in there. You can't have Harley Quinn without talking about him. But maybe that's all it needs to be. Instead, maybe make Harley Quinn more of a focus and just she kind of talks about it every once in a while. Like, maybe make her recovering from him. That would have been cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I heard you you used to yeah. fucking run around with the clown prince, right? And she could have been like, yeah, that that's, you know, that's behind me. You know what I mean? I'm better than him now. Or maybe he fucked her over. Maybe she, he's the reason she's in prison. I don't know. Then you didn't have, you wouldn't have to explain him. He is the you reason just... she was in prison. Yeah, he abandoned her. Yeah. yeah. Like a bitch. You know, but but that that's the joke. I mean, that's classic yeah, joke. But, um, but maybe show... Like, instead of showing him at all, just show little glimpses in back, like, you know, flashbacks so you can really get, like, oh, man, this is a bad guy through different things. Maybe showing him a... Also, well, well hold on, I'll get, to, I'll get to that. But so, like, yeah, you, you could have you not had him in the movie at all and made him more intimidating than having him in the movie and making him look like a, like a ferret in human form covered in tattoos, which is exactly what he reminds a me ferret? of. A ferret? I hated the way he looked. Whoever designed him, like, he looks like he's straight out of a 14-year-old girl's fan fiction. That's what... He looks like if, like, some 12-year-old in Hot Topic, they were like, hey, can you make the Joker for us real quick? And that's because you sure, I can! And they were like, alright, go get him! And then made that unholy cacophony of nonsense. But worse than that, worse than the way he looks and the fact that he was shoehorned in, is, uh, and I don't know, tell me if you disagree with this, but his relationship yeah. with Harley Quinn. Yeah. I said it in the car. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he was obsessed with her, which is not right. <laughs> That's not how it is. He's not obsessed with her at all, but, it, like, the whole movie was him trying to get her back. Um, even, like, there was one tiny little part in the movie where I was like, oh, okay, maybe. And that's when she jumped in. I thought he was going to leave her. That's what I thought. But then he was like, and turned around and jumped in. Like, if he would have just left her, even though I know that's not what's in the comic. Yeah, Or yeah. anything. But, like, for a split second, it was like, okay, that's, that kind of feels like it. But it feels like the actual, The whole yeah. rest of the movie was... He's just absolutely head over heels obsessed with her. Which is not at yeah, all no. what is supposed... <laughs> like, it's supposed to be a fucked up relationship. That's, like, the point. It's like, he can't have anything good. <laughs> like, he can't, like, love. That's, like, one of the points of him. And she is... Con- she can. She could, if she needed to, become a regular person. And that's another point of it, is that she is... 
in a lot of ways stronger and better than him because she could she can still have a life you know separate from him and separate from all the violence and separate from all the death whereas he kind of can't yeah. maybe that's something that they were going towards is like no. I need you you're part of me I but, think they just they cut out way too much I think there might have been scenes in there where he was like abusive and shitty yeah, yeah but good. I think I think they just cut out way too much now which if made, it was why is he in there if it was when he was abusive and shitty if it was when he first straps her down yeah. I think that's cheap shit because that's just turning her into Harley Quinn but I think you need to show it afterwards because yeah. he's she's not the woman he wants her to be uh, at first and then he turns her into it mm-hmm. right okay so then even when but the point of it is that even when she does everything for him and it becomes everything that he wants he still just doesn't give a shit you know what I mean or like or when the he gives a shit but then when the chips are down he doesn't you know what I mean now oh no I don't give a fuck and we'll just slap the shit out of her drop her off a roof you know shoot her whatever like he doesn't give it he doesn't yeah. care but this showed a uh, uh, you said it before what did you call it relationship something what do you mean relationship goals they made it look like relationship goals oh, okay like oh look how much he loves her look at their look at their crazy love oh man look how oh it's so cool so like they romanticized it yeah. when really and i get it that's just i guess if you don't really read the comics it's easy to romanticize the shit out of it because all you ever see is them like oh like in an embrace and it's like oh man that's great except uh you just don't see when he's beating the shit out of her all the time and you know she's like begging for him to stop and he got like you know old school fucking horrible shit just beating the shit out of her so i think that was that's almost insulting that they took that and made it like look how look how much he cares yeah. it's like fuck that no he yeah. doesn't that's fucking shitty like again that makes him look like a bitch too so now instead of being this monstrosity that this one of the greatest villains of all time is supposed to look like he looks like a fuckboy who looks like a fuckboy and he just basically is a fuckboy in this movie like they turned the joker into a fuck i don't know how you could do it but they did it yeah i mean christ you know like how do you fuck that up it's like giving g- taking darth vader right you take darth vader and you just take him out of all the armor and replace all of his broken limbs and all that fucked up shit with just kind of a fat old man and take away his voice. And he's still, still Darth Vader. It's still him. But now he's just a fat old man who doesn't have any powers either. Take away his powers, too. And there you go. That's what it reminds me of. Neutering the shit out of him, <laughs> which was annoying. I... And making... I did like how Harley Quinn picked herself up after he died, though. Yeah. Which is like, yes, that's that's her. Like, she can fucking, she rolls with it. Like, she comes right back. That's the point. That's why she's awesome. Like, she takes a fucking, like, well, this sucks. You know what I mean? God damn it. You know, ah, like, my pudding's dead. But then she's right back on the horse and ready to go fucking kick ass. And it's like, good. That was the one thing that I really, really liked about that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I, th- I think that that was really good. But I, I wish that they... Uh, Listen, they, he just wasn't in it. Like, for, yeah, like, he uh, shouldn't have been. You didn't need him at for, all. Like, uh, for me, like I can't give an opinion because he wasn't in the movie enough for me to give an opinion. That's true. Because I can look past yeah. the way he looks if I they do can't. him right. I just can't. And they could have done him right, and then maybe in all these deleted scenes they did do him right, but we'll just never honestly maybe. see maybe and yes. that's if they cut him out this much then they should have just come out cut him out completely i agree he, he didn't belong in the movie yeah and his personality mm-hmm. wasn't terrible yeah he wasn't he wasn't because uh, if he you think about it he is he is whatever the next evolution is like every joker is different because yeah. they need to be because that's the only way to do it not every batman is different because <laughs> what do you do with that? <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> you know you get, there's not yeah, much you like, can do. Though, but apparently, it, he's like a darker. Well, it's because he brutal. kills people. But yeah. that, that's from um, it's from the F- Frank Frank Miller's version of Batman. Whatever, it's from something. He didn't just make that up. But um, I think like you had you had Jack Nicholson or you had um, oh what the hell was his name? The guy from the TV show. Whatever. But he was uh, <laughs> Caesar Caesar Romero. You had Caesar Romero oh, who was like. <laughs> Like just goofy and what a well, like I'm a butthole. And then you had Jack Nicholson, who was like straight from the comic book. Like if you ever want to see a Joker that's right out of the comic book, 
Jack Nicholson's the guy, you know what I mean? Because he's just, hey guys, you know, like all fucking crazy and all that shit, and still really theatric. Yeah, everything's a little bit different because he paints his face instead of it. Do you, no, he doesn't. Do you remember? We watched it. He is white, but he puts on makeup. That's what to, I said. He, oh, oh, I thought I you meant he, like... He, he paints his face. Is that what I just said? He puts on people makeup to look like a person. He does? Yeah, do you remember? We really? watched it recently. Yeah. That's fucking like, horrifying. So like, that's scary as shit. That's the scariest fucking thing I've ever heard. That is, he puts on people face. That's disgusting. I totally forgot about that. Because yeah. when he's on the news, he says yeah. he takes off his makeup, but he didn't. Yeah. Oh, and he, and he wipes his face, and yeah. it's, oh, God. That's disgusting. Okay, so there you go. That's a great Joker. That's right out of the comic books, Joker, older comic books. Um, and then you have the Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger Joker who, you know, he you can't be Nicholson. Yeah. And you can't be, you don't want to be Cesar Romero, but you can't be Nicholson, who's straight out of the comics, so you have to reinvent him. So how do you reinvent him, make him like... Well, you put some like, gold chains on him. No, no, no. So that's... <laughs> so Heath Ledger's was, like, really dark and disgusting, and, like, you know, was he theatrical? Yeah, but not in a happy way. It was just, like, ah, like disgusting and genuinely scary. Yeah. You know, genuinely horrible. Like, I would be scared looking at that man. You know what I mean? Because he's just, well, like, unwashed, like, filled, ugh, like, disgusting her person. So I guess it makes sense that he, that you have to change him drastically again. So, I, I keep slamming the table. It's probably a loud as shit. No, look how, look how loud it is. It gets so loud. <laughs> but so, um, so I, I guess it makes sense that this next evolution of the Joker or, or this reinvention of him <laughs> would be um, basically <laughs> a, a skinny weasel pimp um, or a, a prison bitch. Looks like a prison bitch that someone else used as tattoo practice. Kind of writing shit on his face. I and mean, on his Harley had that shit. too. She did right on her, right mm-hmm. on her jaw. Rot. Right. Well, cause she's a play thing for the Joker. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, okay. Who's, who is, Whose plaything was Joker? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> who did he belong to? <laughs> I would like to see that movie. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, so I, I guess I get it, because you need to change it. And again, part of the personality sounded all right, because he was like, wow, and shit, and like, wow. And when he sat on the guy, and I was yep. like, woo, and like touching him and all that. Okay, cool, get it. Not like enough it. to form an opinion. Not enough me. to form an opinion. Also, he looks like a fucking idiot. But... And the relationship with Harley was terrible. Yeah, no, I didn't like that. But so I think, I think he made that movie a much worse movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm did. really angry that he was in that movie Should because it made it there. shittier. It, he didn't it brought move down it the rest of the movie. Did not move the movie along at all. Like if you no. take him out of all the parts he was in, like what did he provide to it? Except he separated the Joker. He separated Harley for a good five minutes, maybe. He, nothing and then she happened. Was back. Yeah. So she could have just as easily hijacked that helicopter yep. her her damn self. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, didn't add, didn't progress the story. He deactivated the thing. But it didn't but, matter, because they slammed the... They broke yeah, them. Yeah, I know. They went back to jail at the end anyway. Yeah. Didn't I, matter. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I do It have pisses to me off. <laughs> it pisses me off so bad. Um, but so, I think he is the worst part of the movie. If yeah. you're going to go see the movie, the Joker's the worst fucking part of it. So, you know, have fun with that. Some it's of the only scenes, 15 minutes. Yeah. Visually, I thought the, the movie was very appealing. I loved it. Visually, it was a very pretty movie. Holy shit. The best part, visually, was Enchantress. Yes. God damn. Yes. That was so... Oh my god, that She's was awesome. So pretty. The part where she first summons her and you see her hand... Yes. ...come up under her hand and flip... Oh, like... Ooh, and fuck her abilities. Like... Fuck that. She starts touching the general. Yeah. Please don't touch please don't touch me. And she's like, ah like <laughs> she's just creepy and crazy and awesome. So she was pretty great. Um but god god damn. Definitely cool. But as far as like overall, it was okay. Yeah, the, it was an okay movie. Like the plot was just kinda eh. Cause I I mean, what happens in the beginning? I wanna form a suicide squad in case, you know, something bad happens. Something bad happened. Coincidentally, right Ooh. after we had this meeting. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Did like you do a this a day Mando after? <laughs> well, because it happened, I guess, because of the Suicide Squad, technically. Yeah. I'm... Like, 
Because she was trying to hold the heart of a, like, demigod. But. Got pissed off. Yeah, there was no real plot in it, honestly. No, there wasn't. No, yeah, the, the overall, the overarching story wasn't that impressive. Like no. I said, that's why it's not, like, a great movie, it's just it's a fun superhero movie. Mo- superhero movie, but. Well, there are superhero movies that were, Guardians of the Galaxy, I thought, was a lot of fun. It was really, and, and it was good because really the character it. development and everything was great. But the only thing that sucked about Guardians of the Galaxy was the main villain. He was basically about as entertaining as a bowl of a bowl of pudding, like kind of drippy pudding. I mean, that could be that could be pretty interesting. Though. No, it could. It could. I, 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 had, I said before the spaghetti, the Joker. If yeah. they replaced the Joker in this new Suicide Squad movie with a bowl of spaghetti that was spilling onto a table, I would have had a lot more fun yeah. with that movie. First of all, it would have been, like, legit, take every single scene, and every time, like, the Joker's supposed to be on screen, just cut it to a bowl of spaghetti spilling on the table, and I think that would actually be a really funny movie, because <laughs> it wouldn't get old, because it's so sparse and randomly put in there, his scenes are so yeah, they, random and yeah. stupid, that, like, when it happens, you're like, ah, the goddamn spaghetti and, again. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> to, Good times. Like, with him and with those, those scenes, like, some of them lasted, like, two seconds. Like, him in the car. Like, uh, why was that there? And it, and it kind of pisses me off that it was supposed to be like Harley Quinn's backstory. Yeah, I, they still did a pretty good job. Like when she was in the water, she yeah, can't I, she can't even breathe, but she gets up and tries to stab the Batman, and it's like, God damn, like, you are fucking brutal. Like, all right, cool, but like the part where it was just the Joker sitting there and she was like dancing on the stripper pole. And then the Joker, like, shoots that, the, the thug who was like, yeah, your girl hot, you know, and then he, and he's like, you shouldn't have said my girl's hot, and then he shoots him in the face, and it was like, that was, there was no point to that. Especially, no. also, because the, the whole point to that scene was supposed to say, God help you if you insult his woman, and that was what led into that scene about that guy talking to the Harley Quinn and getting shot in the face, except, like, that's not scary, all he did was shoot the guy. Like, okay, was, all right, he's dead. Good job. You know what I mean? Like, I thought he was going to start, like, ripping the guy's eyes out, or I thought he was going to make, like, when he said, she, he, she now belongs to you. You know what I mean? She's yours now. I thought Harley was going to be like, oh, I can do whatever I want. And he goes, sure, and she rips him apart. I thought that would have been cool if, like, you know what I mean? Like, have fun, Harley. And it's like, oh, my God, she's horrible. You know what I mean? Like, just, woo, like, stabs him a bunch of whatever. That would have been cool. But instead, they turn it into just, like, oh, I'm going to shoot you in the face once. You know, it's like, that's oh, boring. It was really boring. Not theatric at all. Mm-hmm. Not entertaining. You didn't um, even see it, though. You didn't even it see was, it. it. It was, it was bang, camera. and his head goes sideways. It was like, wow! Like, all what the, a crazy all man! The, like, all, like, the deaths and stuff, they happened off camera. What was this rated? Not Slipknot. Slipknot count. was the <laughs> heart of this movie. You didn't even see him. He just dangles for two seconds. Something else that pissed me off. The, um, the backstories. So... The backstory for Harley Quinn lasted forever. Christ. The backstory for Deadshot, cool though. Didn't last as long. Didn't last as long and and was better, of course. Because it had both. It had two villains in it. But, um, I thought Deadshot's was entertaining. It was good. It got the point across. It was good shit. And then you had, like, Killer Croc for like a second in describing him. Not... Not really. It, he, it was just it was, him, it was in, just a him cell, in his cell, right? yeah, killing people in his cell, and they left their bones. I thought that was pretty cool. But um, <coughs> boomerang had one. You had boomerang. Who else? <laughs> I liked boomerang. I like that boomerangs was that long. I wish there was more, just because I love him. But it kind of just makes sense to have it like I'm robbing a bank. Ah, you know what I mean? Like fuck. <laughs> like, you know, like, okay, <laughs> like because he's just such a shithead, and it's like all right, one and done. He's all done. Diablo um, was like five seconds long, just him coming out of the house. That was it. Well, because they wanted to save it for later, which I get, especially when they're like, "How'd you catch him?" And it's like, "We didn't." He gave himself up. And it's like, okay, I'm more interested in that. Yeah. So that makes sense. I wish Killer Croc. I would like cut out fucking goddamn it. Cut out everything with the piece of shit ferret Joker and replace it with awesome. I don't see a ferret. I see a. F- I see like one of the. You know why? Because he's so white that he reminds me of those little white ferrets. And he's like. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's like a skinny little weird man. But replace all those scenes with back backgrounds for Killer Croc. 
I would have loved to see what the fuck was Killer Croc up to. And they said he like got chased out of Gotham. I want to know what yeah. that's about. I want to see a little fight between Croc and and the Bat. You know what I mean? Like Batman coming in, punching him, and he's like, "Fuck you!" Punches him back, scratching him. Or Batman just seeing him, being like, "Well." What's that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Was that a crocodile man? Like, that's fucking awesome. I think that would have been a lot cooler. But did he have instead, a... the backstories were kind of poopy. I did like Katana's. Even though it was kind of short, you got the point, And it was like, nice, nice. Flags was... Was all right. Yeah, Flags was okay. I was just going to say, like... He didn't have a purple suit. That does not count. Come on. He was in a purple suit. That's not a purple suit. Yeah, his, like, weird, like, snakeskin suit yeah. or whatever the fuck it is. That's not a suit. But, um... I don't count that guy, though. He's he's a military guy, right? Flag? He's not, yeah. He's still important in the Suicide Squad. Like, the comics? Yeah, he's in he's Oh, in really? Yeah. yeah. He, like, leads oh. them originally. Oh. I think he was one of the... Because he's their handler. He's the one that's out there with them. Hmm. But, um... Yeah, I wish that they... They had... You know what? If they had introduced Slipknot as an actual character... Yeah, he wasn't. That at way, all. that maybe would have been more interesting. That, that's how I like, knew he was going to die. Oh yeah, you knew right away. Yeah, and I kind of actually, red shirt, you know, I was waiting for Boomerang to die, honestly, because they weren't, they had nothing really with him. Yeah, but you can't kill Boomerang. You can't kill Boomerang. Did he die in Assault on Arkham? <laughs> Uh, no. Okay. He you, he always ends up in situations where you're like, well, he's going to definitely die, or he can never make it out of that, and then you see him later, and it's like, you again! <laughs> like, that's the great, that's what's wonderful about him. In the comic book, they they sell him, they use him as a trading chip to, like, this huge, uh, organ- basically, ba- it's called Basilisk, it's, like, Hydra, but for DC, mm-hmm. and they trade him as, like, you know, here, we'll give you him if you give us information, or whatever, and so they're they're gonna kill him, and you're like, all right, cool, he's gonna die. And then you see him again later, and it's like, okay, <laughs> like he's just back. You know, what I mean? like I don't die, like, which is why he's he's great. He's fucking wonderful. Um, you looking up enchantments right now? Yeah, but so so yeah, that those are those are kind of my feelings about yeah. Suicide Squad. Yeah. If you're gonna go see it, um, be ready for a fun movie. Be ready for a lot of a lot of violence. Um, a couple bad jokes, but a couple good ones. A couple good funny, funny moments. Yeah, and had the whole audience like laughing. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, there was yeah. some of the, a lot of the shit that Deadshot says. I <laughs> thought was fucking awesome. Yeah. He is so goddamn. He, he delivers those lines. He's it's so believable. Mm-hmm. I think that's why. Like, like where uh, where he holds the gun and like he 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 goes all right. So this is a fake gun with dummy rounds, yeah. obviously. <laughs> and he shoots it up into the air, and you hear like boom, and everyone's like fuck, and he goes. He almost be crazy. Like, like, you fucking gave me a real gun? Like, are you fucking nuts? But, like, I thought he was pretty great. And when he lists off his list of demands to the guy, and the guy goes, the guy goes, you got, you got nothing to, you know, you, you got no room for negotiation here. And he goes, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to your boss. And, like, points next to the guy. Like, and he goes, you heard, you heard my list. See you later. You know what I mean? Like, I thought he was really fucking funny. Yeah. Um, Boomerang. Just, yeah, love him. Love everything you did. Also, oh, just to... Diablo was, like, the heart and soul of the movie. I loved him. Yeah. He doesn't He doesn't have a lot of speaking lines. He doesn't no. do anything. He doesn't do a lot until the end. And, like, that was, or, and a that little... That was pretty awesome. Yeah, holy <laughs> really shit. Awesome. When he goes, you want to see what I can really do? Like, fuck, that was awesome. I'm not talking about when he flamethrowers the people on the bridge. I'm talking yeah. about the very end, like, boss battle shit. It was awesome. So he is great, and he's just like out of the out of the comic books, the the ones that I have anyway, which I think are New Fifty Two. Yeah, they are. But um, he was excellent. He was excellent. But yeah, overall, what what uh, let's let's do overall things. We'll probably chop this up, right? So overall, not, honestly. Oh, okay, cool. Overall, what are your feelings? Oh, I'm sorry. If, I I would still probably want to own it, but. Eh. Like, it, it was you nothing... Home, you got a little eyelash on Yeah, do I? Now yeah. it's in my nose. I could feel it. You're welcome. Um, yeah, nothing to write home about. Definitely wasn't super exciting, but it's not what all the reviews are saying. What are they saying? Like, on Rotten Tomatoes or whatever. Like, the... 
Like, what, is it good or bad? No, like, like it's saying? getting a lot of bad reviews. Like, oh. remember the whole, let's take down Rotten Tomatoes? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's not, <laughs> it's so not that bad. <laughs> oh, I don't like that they're saying mean things. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's not a it's not a it's I not an fun. atrocious piece of shit. You know what I mean? It's definitely not it like a sack of monkey crap. It, it was a lot of fun. It had a lot of character and a lot of yeah. a lot of like potential. Like definitely, whoever potential, whoever but. did the movie, just I don't know what they did though. Like they cut it up too much. I think. Yeah. Well, they had a I bunch of reshoots and shit. I don't think. I don't know. I wish I could have seen it originally and Same. compared it. Because maybe it didn't need all the reshoots, and maybe they should have done the reshoots a little bit better, so yeah. that they go from scene to scene. Because there were some times where I physically noticed it, and I usually don't notice it. The cuts? In movies, yeah. Where you can tell, like, it definitely wasn't... Like, characters will be in completely different positions, uh, yeah, their clothing's yeah. all clean. I usually don't notice that, but it was a couple times, like, it was, like, in your face. Mm-hmm. They, they didn't do a good job with that at all. No. Like, the pacing sometimes, it's just, like, jerky. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. But I liked it. Still, so, you know. Yeah, I, I, I did too. I think it, it it's still, is it worth seeing in the theaters? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it's fun. It's cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. If, if this is supposed to be, like, you have Marvel and DC, right? Because that's the race. This was probably the best DC movie. So far, I mean, Wonder Woman looks pretty good. Wonder Woman looks fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't go see Batman versus Superman. I have it no interest. Like, it looked like monkey no poop. No interest. But <laughs> if if there's like the Marvel and DC race, um, one of my friends was just telling me that this is supposed to be like the Guardians of the Galaxy of DC, and if it's supposed to be that, they fucked up <laughs> real bad and dropped the ball. But as its own thing, eh, it was decent. It was fun. I would like to see if they make another one. If they do a good job, Mm. maybe they'll learn from their mistakes. Maybe now this time they won't chop it up because they know what, you know, hey, let's make the movie funny right away without Uh, reshooting. But then let's put in the good music. The good music. (laughs) I feel like all the the music in the beginning was like pretty good. The the same people work on the same movies though, right? I hope not. Because like, I feel like they're trying to put all this stuff into the Justice League movie, but that trailer was so just flat and not funny. Boring. Yeah, Yeah, you're right. Well, that's so, I'm not going to go see a fucking Justice League movie, but I would I would see a second uh, Suicide Squad yeah. movie. I probably wouldn't see it in theaters because of this one. I might. I'll buy tickets. You would buy tickets. Yeah. All right, then I guess I'll see it in the theaters <laughs> if it comes out. That's fine. But um, I don't think there will be another one. Really? I don't think there will be. Because this one got so fucked. They didn't set it up. They have no plans right now for another movie. Well, yeah, they did. Harley Quinn got... Li- oh, that's for the Justice League. Yeah, that, that's for when... Or another yeah, Batman movie, yeah. I mean, she got out. Oh. She's gonna pop out. I mean, out of course she got one. out. I mean, yeah. they always escape. Villains always escape. Yeah. They, they, yeah. It's not really setting up another movie. There was no, like, oh, this is gonna happen in the future. She just got out of jail. That doesn't set up a movie. Yeah. It, where it sets up like a Batman movie, not a Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. But either way, I don't know. And I'll see you. I, I would like to see happen. another Suicide Squad movie. I would like to see it without the Joker. I would, I would like, like to, to see, see it, it with the Joker. <laughs> not, not, uh, I want to see more of that character. I want to like, see a Batman movie with the Joker. Okay. I want to see it in the okay. element that he's supposed to be in. I want to see it with him talking to Batman going, I love you, Batman! You know what I mean? I like, want to be able to form like, that opinion, though. I would like to see him and the new Batman. Yeah, you know what? That would be interesting, because yes, yes. the new Batman kills people, right? This was almost... Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't really see him surviving. I, well, he kills people. Why did he save Harley Quinn at the end? Right there, when he pulled her out of the car. What was the point of that? I don't know. I thought he kills people. I, like, don't, I don't know the new Batman. I don't know the new Batman either. Either way, whatever. Maybe they're just that inconsistent with it, but... They are. They what? I mean, that, the end of that movie, uh, Amanda Waller completely cut her character... She was asking for Batman's help. She had she had information on superheroes. Like, why does she have... If she had information on superheroes, why is she setting up a... Kick. Well, superheroes are way stronger. But one's a kid. The Flash was the person, one of those... Files. Was it? Yes. 
So like, oh, I didn't even pick up on that. Was it Barry yeah. Allen or whatever? So I mean, there are tons. Of, like, if she has all these files on superheroes, she could easily like she if she's that ruthless she person because she needed Bruce Wayne's help. Yeah, but why? And why does I Bruce Wayne? I don't see Amanda why Waller Bruce as ever Wayne needing going anybody. To Amanda Waller, they hate each other. Well, she's all right. So from the comics, Amanda Waller is fucking good at what she does. Yeah. Fucking awesome. No one better. Bruce Wayne is like close. At you know, hey, I got shit on everybody, but yeah. she 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 like knows who he is. She yeah. figures it out. That's yeah. obviously by that. But and so that's the same as it is. But so when he if he comes to her, that would kind of make sense because she's like, this is her she life. She wants him. He's busy fighting. She was giving him the information for protection. Yeah, that I hate. Yeah, that I hate. Amanda Waller don't need for yeah. fucking protection that from broke dick. Her Are you kidding me? After like she killed she's her own the, people. <laughs> yeah, she's one of the scariest human beings on the planet, and that's like a consistent thing. Yeah. Is that even members of the Suicide Squad, so monsters who have killed people, some of them are like, "Yo, fuck Amanda Waller," though. Like that's a scary bitch. Like, yeah. cool. But now instead, basically teary eyed, coming to Batman, and can you protect me? And it's like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like the reason I don't see another Suicide Squad movie is because. Her team failed so much in this movie that there's no way they, they were the cause of it. <laughs> like her Suicide Squad, yeah, her, no her trying to hold the Enchantress caused the main villain for the movie. I, I also didn't like that. I yeah. wish that Enchantress wasn't a part of the Suicide Squad. She wasn't. Well, she was originally supposed to be. Yeah. I wish that she was just something that woke up. Yeah. And then just came out, but I. I guess they needed to add that whole romance in with yeah. the guy and, and her. I, is I don't she know even why. a villain or is she a superhero? I the doubt Tantris? she's a hero, but... She's a villain. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know I don't too know. much about her, but... Cause, like, fucking when I was movie made up, me want to know more about her. Her picture, she has, like, a cape and she's, like, in Wonder Woman armor. So that's... she's She doesn't look like um, an ancient-looking thing. You know? Yeah. So... They probably change it up. Well, it, I'm saying she looked like a superhero. Oh, she didn't yeah. look like whatever she looked like in the movie. Yeah, some of the villains can look like superheroes if you look at them. Reverse yeah, like Flash. The Reverse Flash kind of looks like a superhero. He's yeah, all he's I... he's exactly like Flash. Reverse Flash. So Reverse Flash was a big villain. It, uh, you know, for Flash against Flash, he was a member of the Suicide Squad in one of the New Fifty Two. Mm-hmm. He dies. Yeah. He blows up in a fucking nuke. Because he goes to save people and all like rips all his fuck. Well, it might have traveled him back in time. I don't know, but it was a time travel bomb, okay. which is fucking stupid. Why not just make a bomb? But so he might have got a. Well, I, I, it was in the the ones that you were reading. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably saw him. He was the the guy who ran real fast and had lightning all around him. Well, I, he he basically was like the Diablo of that one because uh-huh. he's like, I don't want to hurt people anymore. I want to be a good guy. And then he also had a talk with Harley Quinn. I was like, you don't need to hurt people anymore. You can be a good guy. I was like, alright, good job, just, whatever. That's a whole different, that's a whole different thing. But, but yeah, so Suicide Squad, it's alright. Yeah, it was alright. Well, 